ready to go. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about binomials times binomials. And when you're doing a binomial times binomial, you're going to do distributive property once, and then you're going to do it again. But as this sometimes, these binomials turns into trinomials or polynomials with four terms, this starts getting very, very confusing. All right? So the, the way that I like to look at this uh, multiplication is, and we could even do, uh, have done the last problem this way, is I like to look at multiplication as finding the product, which would be really finding the area of a box. And that kind of go takes us back to, again, what we did when we were factoring when we were trying to find the side lengths of a box, which we're, again, going to revisit again today. So um, basically, what we're going to do, I'm sorry, is if we want to find the area, if we want to find the product, then basically what we're really asking is we want to find the area. So the area of the box here is I, what you're going to do is just write one length on one side and one length on the other side. So when you look at the, the length of each side, basically what you guys can see is there's two terms, so I'm going to make two sides or two sides. And basically now what we're doing is just like I would multiply 4 times x cubed and 4 times 2x. But you guys can see I'm going to do that again here. But now I'm visualizing this as finding the area of each of these little boxes. So basically now what I do is just find the area of each box. x cubed times x squared is x to the fifth. x cubed times negative 4x or negative 4 is a negative 4x cubed. x squared times negative 2x is a negative 2x cubed. And negative 2x uh, times negative 4 is a negative 8x. Positive, thank you. So now the next important thing that we need to look at, Lynette, is that my middle terms also, you guys can see these are both x cubes, right? So x cubes, though, I can add. I can't add an x squared and an x to the cu x cubed, but I can add x, qu x cubed and x cubed. Yes, question? OK. So now, when I'm rewriting my answer, I have x to the fifth. I can just combine these together, which is negative 6x cubed plus 8x. And that will be your final answer.